Hi, I'm Cherie Buss, and this is my story. As I can remember, I have loved music. I love to sing. My mom put me in piano lessons when I was, I think, five or six. And I only had a couple years of actual lessons, but um, I've always loved to play piano, so I just, I just kept playing and kept buying books, you know, and just keeping it going. And throughout high school, I was in choirs. Um, I would sing at the fair, I would sing karaoke with friends, you know. <laughs> I've always loved music and I love how you can express yourself through music. If you're feeling down, there's a song out there that will just make you feel better or help you through a tough time. And even if there aren't words, classical music is so dynamic. I. I love, I just love music. <laughs> I've always wanted to pursue a career in music. Um, I think it was around my freshman year maybe, um, when I first started being in like the, the choral scene. Um, I was very shy, you know. I had my few friends and um, tried to break out, you know, but it was high school, you know. So I would try out for little, you know, solo roles and all this and that. And I remember um, one person who was actually a friend of mine at the time told me that I shouldn't sing that certain style because I didn't sound good at it. <laughs> and so I didn't for many years. I didn't sing. Um, I think it was Respect was the song. <laughs> so I did an audition for that because she said I sounded bad. And I realized years later how much I let people's words affect me. Um, being a cosplayer and seamstress and all that, I also post um, photos online of, you know, outfits and conventions. And people can be really cruel. I've had people tell me, um, I'm too fat to be this person. I'm too old to be this person. Some Someone once told me they hope I would get cancer <laughs> just because I was friends with somebody that they didn't like. I let it affect me. I let it bury itself really deep inside me and held me back for years. I never pursued music. I made costumes for my sister for the longest time before I would make anything for myself because I wasn't confident enough to be proud of what I was able to create for myself. I remember at one point in high school, my family was trying to get me to audition for American Idol. <laughs> And I really wanted to. It was like when the show first started. I thought, okay, I can do this. This could be my chance. So I was planning out what I would sing. You know, I was practicing, and um, I was going to ask my parents if, if they would drive me down there, you know, and, and do it. And I don't know why, but I just remembered my friend's words: "You don't sound good at this." And I just clammed up and didn't do it. <laughs> and I never did again. I, I didn't sing anything that used my chest voice for years. I only sang classical music, the operatic stuff, which is what I did in high school. And that was it. I, I just, I figured that was my limit because someone gave that to me and that's where I was gonna stop. I couldn't go any further than that. <laughs> but I could. <laughs> I started singing more. Um, I joined a YouTube choir, <laughs> which actually was 
the first step in finding out that I can do a lot more than what my friend said I could. <laughs> So when my friend said that to me, it just opened up the floodgates and I started thinking about other things that I wasn't enough of or was too much of. Am I pretty enough to be a singer? Am I thin enough to be a singer? And in high school, I was not in shape, but I wasn't you know, super overweight. And after high school, like, you start living on your own and it's Taco Bell every day. <laughs> but I just, I gained weight really quickly and my drive was gone. I told myself no one would buy anything from me because I am not what they're looking for. I know that I have some talent, but I, didn't think it was enough of a fabulous talent to overshadow my weight. I didn't think that any music producer would be willing to give me a chance based on how I look. I mean, at that time, I'm gonna show my age here, but like 10 years ago, <laughs> it was uh, Britney Spears had just come out, Christina Aguilera had just come out, you know, and they're all these tiny blondes, and I wasn't any of that. So when I started getting into cosplay and not really singing anymore, and then people would comment on my weight, it just reinforced everything that I thought about myself already. And throughout the years, I've had family members and friends tell me, oh, you should audition for The Voice. You should audition for American Idol. You should audition for this, for this, for this. And I always had an excuse of why I couldn't do it. I'm working. I'm going to be out of town. Um, I don't sing that style of music. And really, I was just scared that I would be rejected. And I didn't even put myself out there. I didn't even give myself the opportunity to be rejected. I could have been accepted. I'll never know, I didn't try. So I would just really hope that this video will help other young people to know that you've gotta at least put yourself out there, no matter what other people say, you know. You have to try, even if you don't make it to the audition, if you can't get yourself quite there. Baby steps, you know. Prepare for it. Maybe you don't go this time, but prepare for it. Next time, maybe you prepare, you drive there, you see the line, you can't do it. That's fine, you know, baby steps. But I didn't even try at all. I just shut myself down and I put a limit on myself. And I'm honestly just in the last few years taking that limit off. <laughs> it's been a very gradual and very uphill battle for me because I had family telling me that I can do this, but I don't, I don't know why it never, just some people's words just mean more, I guess, or hit you in a different way. So it didn't matter what these people were saying, it mattered what these people were saying, you know, an outside source telling you you're not good enough, I guess had more of an impact than someone who has to unconditionally love me. <laughs> you know what I mean? I feel like at that young of an age, I wish I hadn't let people tell me what I am and what I could do. I wish that I had had someone to tell me, you know, it doesn't matter what these people say. You are you, you know your worth, and you can do more than even you know, really. But I just let it get to me and wasted so much time. 
I want other people to be able to let themselves try and give themselves permission to fail if it happens and then make themselves get back up and try again. I'm right there right now at the point where I'm going to start trying. <laughs> so it took me years and years and years. I am going to be 31 in two weeks. So if it's taken me this long, you know, anyone can do it. <laughs> so don't give up. Do your best and don't let yourself down. That's pretty much my message. Give yourself a chance to be yourself and be your best self.